Well, how do the chums as I, Captain Stephen, today, chums, for you guys in the viewer verse? I'm just going to be looking at ways I can spend my time in between settlement sort of activities. Let's head on in. Let's hit up the console. Oh, look at that. I've got a citizen dispute, and I think I saw that my egg is ready to hatch as well. Hello there, citizens. Well, we can see one of the actual outcomes. The other outcome is unknown. I'm going to do the unknown one first. This is probably going to result in a negativity, but I can just do a reload of my save if that is the case. And I think it is going to be red. Let's have a look. Yes, it's red. I'm going to do a reload. Okay, I'll be right back with you guys in a bit, but we will be giving away my egg in this episode, jumps to somebody on the actual Nexus. I'll try to find a new player if I can. Right, so let's head on in. Yeah, there we go. New companion is ready to be hatched. Nice. Awesome. Right, well, let's hit up this decision again. Here we go. And yes, we're just going to go with this one this time. Sweet. Boom. Yes, hopefully that's now not going to go red. Oh, we got a green. Brilliant. Lovely jubbly. That helped clear some of my dead. Righto. So before we actually go up to the actual Nexus, really what I want to do hmm, is clear some inventory space in my starship and I need to clear some space in my exosuit as well. I could go over to my marketplace inside of my base, but I think that would probably do the trick. And I just need to move this into my exosuit so I can give it away. Then I need to clear some junk out of my starship so I can shoot the planet for honey. Because yes, we're going to make some honey into money. Well, nanites this episode, chums. So here we go. I've cleared out my starship inventory space as much as I possibly can. Honey howls. So now we're going to take off in my starship and we're going to partake and shoot in the planet and hopefully get ourselves a load of honey money. Yes, brilliant. Let's take on off and let's uh, turn to our positron ejector because that's going to do the most damage. There we go. And take that, you. See there? Sticky honey. Lovely. That's what I'm after. So just shoot in my planet. It gives me sticky honey. Now, of course, you're not going to be able to do this on every single planet. And yeah, you... <sighs> It's a shame. Really, it'd be nice if you was on the Sticky Honey Planet and then this would work for you. But if not, you can just use my Sticky Honey Planet if you really want to do this. Just head on over to my little realm. Heck yes, here we go. I'm just going to shoot all these. Lovely. Take this, you, you honey plant. You die. Freaking, why are you dying? Okay, well, let's speed this up. And you can see I've got quite a lot of Sticky Honey. Awesome. Lovely job. Honey, but them bottom bound bound. Oh, sugar, sugar, them bottom bound bound. Oh, yeah, now honey, to bottom bound bound. I better go on to my actual um, freighter and uh, run on up and turn this sticky honey into synthesized honey or processed honey or whatever it is. Awesome, there we go. Let's uh, just chuck those in, refine them once, and hopefully we're going to get more nanites. It's only going to take three minutes for that to take place. Lovely, I just hit up a save. Awesome, and I'll be right back with you. Nice one. So yeah, what is it? Synth synthicated. Synthicated. Uh, synthetic. <laughs> synthicated. Synthetic honey. And I can't actually get it inside of my exosuit because I've got too much junk. Right, well let me go sell some of my junk from inside of my trunk. Yes, I've got too much junk in my trunk. It's sweet. Right here. Let's uh, get rid of all that. Yes, don't need this anymore. I want to keep the star silk though. Right, well let's grab all these out of there. And now we can head on over to the Nurxus. Well, the anomaly and we can go and see Kronos right so here I am fly on and in holy fudge moly it looks like I just spawned inside of a living ship that's not supposed to happen anymore is it chums oh there you go oh I blinked and it's gone haha <laughs> I just landed on another traveler did you see that like a totem pole of travelers right well let's head on over this way oh cool he's got the bubble backpack as well looks like a few people are now completing his expedition free which is coolio right so there's a new player ship there so I'm looking for that chap hmm that's not him baby Yoda cool name though Right out, so let's see if we can find that chappy. You're not him. Okay, you're not over at the Quicksilver dude. Is that him over there? Yeah, that's him. Awesome. I think he's in the appearance modifier. Going by where that little icon is. So let's run up this nice shiny ramp. Hello, shiny ramp. And past Gemini and Hesperus. And over to the appearance modifier. Hmm, that's not him. Oh, there's two people there. There he is. He's the guy in the red. Switch. So let's see if I can give him my companion egg. Yes, I'm going to give you a monstrous egg, my friend. So here we go. Let's go into my extra suit. And there we go. And we give it to you. There we go. Yoto Kami. Brilliant. Enjoy your new monster. I've already made it super big and it's already aggressive. So yeah, enjoy. 
awesome. Right now, let's go and see Kronos. Hello there, Kronos. Right now, I've got 150 of this synthetic honey to hand in. I'm on 70,000 nanites. So here we go, synthetic honey. There you go. First one up and done. Brilliant. Now I've just got to do this 150 odd times. Yeah, I know. Freaking, that, that's, that's a gameplay mechanic that you, you're going to really thoroughly enjoy. I'm going to go into first person mode so I can do this a little bit quicker. But it's, it's not much quicker. You know, you have to go in and out of these menus. The first time you come here and you speak to him, maybe the first 10 offerings that you do, and you see some of the interactions with him, and it's a bit Gordon Ramsay-esque. You're like, whoa, whoa that was quite funny. Ha, ha, ha. That hurt my ribs for about, what, 10 seconds. And then afterwards, you get to see the same sort of statements over and over again. And when you're doing it 150 times, chums, just be careful. Um, yeah, this is a very good way to put yourself to sleep. It really is. Yeah, do you need anesthetic? No, just talk to Kronos for like half an hour because that's probably how long it's going to take me to turn it in all 150. So I'll be right back with you. Here you go. I'm down to the last few and um, I've hurt my jaw from freaking yawning. Heck yes, I really wish they would give us some sort of ways or means to hand in multiples at the same time to this little chap because it freaking painful people it really is painful what would be cool if they actually added a new building type at settlements where you can hand in all your cooked goods to your actual settlement you know because you've got a bar there you've got a whole freaking populace of like 60 odd people they need feeding so it'd be cool if you could hand them in in bulk and maybe you get maybe 50 percent of what you would get if you handed them into chronos nanite wise i think that could be a winner winner chicken freaking dinner so yeah if you've got any ideas on how they could improve this or even just make it so you can hand in maybe 50 at a time to in Kronos and maybe get a 10% reduction or something I don't know but yeah there must be ways and means that they could speed this up because like I said that just that really did freaking almost put me to sleep I was nodding off my eyes were getting heavy right so let's just use this teleporter to get straight back down to my settlement here we go and we're heading back down to my settlement I don't think anything has popped as yet chums so all that time I spent oh, oh, oh hold on we've got a new citizen request let's head on in and let's hit on up the citizen request let's see who we've got at our settlement hello there oh no it's not a visitor is it this they want to go do something okay they want to leave the settlement I have to look into DNA of the fauna on this planet I have served I have surveyed all of these creatures but yeah knock yourselves out there's mainly flying ones there's one that lives underneath the ground that took me freaking ages to find it was a right git you know what let's go on out and um, I'll see if I can scan I think all the dots have gone red again even though I've found them like months ago yeah look all the airborne creatures their dots are red again I'm gonna go scan them and I'll show you what I mean in a moment I'll scan a couple of creatures and then I'll be right back with you and I'll show you the actual discoveries page I bet it says I discovered these things like six months ago or something there we go just hit that look it says discovered by Captain Stephen added date under there let's head on over here let's just scan a couple just to give you a rough idea of what I've done I haven't scanned all the flora and minerals and I have now got new visitors to this system so there's a good chance they've already been renamed decated all the sort of like foliage and the rocks and things I think I named a couple of the trees I think I called them three or something like that but here we go let's go on in so here we go yeah see I've named all these you know when I scan over you can see eight months ago eight months ago I found all these creatures and for whatever reason they've gone red again and I find this happens so often even with the discovery servers active it almost feels like why bother naming anything chums so I'm hoping they fix that in due course righto well I've, I've spent some time scanning creatures and scanning some rocks and trees and uh yeah I'm back at my settlement encampment and we've got a settlement visitor hello there visitor Right. Did I hit up a save? I think I did. I think I should be okay to just select whatever. I'm going to go for the one that's going to increase my standing, even though it puts me into debt a little bit. Let's help this Corvax in need. It sounds like they've just wet themselves somehow. Yeah, they lost their battery and that caused them to lose control of their bodily fluids. Right. Interesting. Some of these are quite funny. I quite enjoy reading these. It gives you a little bit of an insight into the different races. Kind of makes me feel like maybe I should hit up a settlement that might be Viking or Gek in the future. But I'm enjoying my Corvax one far too much. I love watching them dad dance inside my nightclub. So there we go. Not much change to my stats. But there we are, chums. There's something for you to try in between settlement times. Until next time, people, you've been great. Goodbye, goodbye, and goodbye again.
Well, thank you very much for watching. If you like what you see, please hit a like and a subscribe. And I'd like to say a massive great big thank you to all of my backers over on Patreon and over on YouTube membership. Thanking you, backers. And if you want to support this channel, just don't skip the adverts. I'd froze revenue down my avenue. Or yeah, just stay with Captain Steve a little bit longer and hit something on this screen. There's merch here now too.